She told me, Mr. You think you're fierce? I said, of course. She said, all queens think they're fierce. I said, Mr. All queens and me. Bon appetit, I'm a feast for the eyes of you. Hey guys, it's King Slay here. Here to slay your life, girl, okay? If you like this and you want to see how to make yourself look this damn good, stay tuned, girl. We are going to start with the eyes. I already did my eyebrows. If you guys want to see a video on how I do my eyebrows, just comment in the comment section and I will do a video. Let's start off with some, this is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. It's all over the eyes, all the way up to the brow bone. So you just want to make sure that that's all blended in. All right, so now that we have done that, it's time to work with the star of the show today, the Anastasia palette. It's so beautiful. This palette, I was like, oh my god, I love it. First color we're gonna start off with is Morocco, which is this color right here. And I'm using my Sedona Lace 863 brush with a fluffy brush. Kind of like the MAC one, but I feel like this one's better. I have the MAC one and it's not as smooth. So we're gonna start off from the corner of the eye and kind of work that color in in a back and forth motion. So back and forth will deposit your color. And you can tell that like, as I'm going back and forth, I'm kind of making sure that that outside portion is very blended, very professional. Okay. So I'm pretty happy what that looks like. So I'm gonna do that on the other side. Blend, blend, blend. Starting from the corner, working the color in. Now this is gonna be like our transition color for this whole look that we're doing. It's gonna be a very warm look. So we're still going in that back and forth motion. Remember, we wanna deposit the color. Now um, sometimes, and you'll see me do this later in the video, we like to go in circular motions as we go back and forth. That's more about blending the color. I like to do that with more darker colors. Right now for a transition, back and forth is pretty good on just depositing the color. So I'm gonna go back and build up the intensity a little bit on both eyes. And I'm kind of working that in an upward motion because it cuts my eyes a nice way. If I bring it too far down, it kind of brings the eyes down. So if I bring it up, it kind of makes the eyes look more lifted. Going back and forth still, just on that outer corner. I'm still using the same color Morocco in the same brush. We're just building that color. And if you see like, this one looks like it's getting a little high on me, so I'd like to just bring that in a little bit. That looks really pretty. I'm actually gonna be using one of the It Cosmetic brushes. This is in the number 112, and it is called the Precision Shadow Brush. It looks like that. It's like one of those pinch shader brushes. And I'm actually gonna grab Intense Gaze, because you want your gaze to be intense. We're gonna just tap off all the extra onto the hand. I'm gonna just tap that all over the lid, starting from the center. And the reason why we start from the center is because we kind of want to build our shape first. So I like to start from the center to see how high I want the lid color to go. And then I use that to kind of go in on the inside and in on the outside. And that just gives you that perfect round shape. Starting from the center, making sure we get as close to the lash line as possible. Bringing it in, bringing it out. Now I bring the color all the way in. So right in to that inner tear duct. You'll see I pick up this transition color a lot. And that's because the way to keep everything nice and blended is to keep going back in with that transition. I feel like that always works best for me. If I look straight like directly on, you'll see that this kind of goes above my natural crease and this one kind of doesn't. So the way to correct that is that I'm going to take that same Morocco color and kind of just look straight on into my mirror. And sorry, I'm looking over here. My mirror's over here, guys. Um, and don't lift your brows and very lightly blend. Just gonna bring that color up a little further so that both eyes match. And I love this palette. The colors in here are so beautiful. They my favorite. Now we're gonna add some dimension. So I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M330 brush, which is this blending brush right here. And it's pointed, so it's gonna help with our definition. 
and I'm picking up the color fudge putting that on the very tip I don't know if you guys can see this it's only the color is only deposited right on that very tip take this color and start at the very corner of your eye where your eye stops I want to go there and very very lightly because this color is pigmented bring that color in the crease going up this is just going to start to build more of that intensity I'm bringing it in maybe three quarters of the way in I kind of want to leave the inside very bright take that fudge color again and we're just going to do the same thing on the other side and the good thing about this brush is that it will actually almost give it the effect that your crease is kind of cut because it's so very thin. So you could use this for a cut crease. I picked up a little bit more product just because I want to bring it in a little bit further. So that's looking pretty good. So what are we going to do next, guys? We're going to pick up our transition color. I'm going to take um, a clean, like, pinched shadow brush from a Sedona Lace Christmas to so just kind of blend out those edges and make sure that they look super duper duper blended. What I tell everyone, they're like, oh my gosh, your eyeshadow looks so blended. I'm like, girl, when you blend, you blend. And then you blend some more. And when you thought you were done, you gonna blend again, okay? Hashtag blend. I'm gonna go in with the same It Cosmetics brush, the Precision Shadow brush that we did like with the whole lid color and I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of the pink champagne and I'm gonna pop that right in the center. We're gonna go back in with that Morphe M330 brush which is that pointed blending brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of the Noir. This black is blacker than black, like so black. So you literally need the tiniest, tiniest little bit and put it very softly. I'm kind of just going to go back into that corner and I'm not going to bring this black in as far as I brought in that brown. Pick up a little bit more to the other side. And kind of just blend that all back out. And we're really just blending the outer corner because that's where we place the black perfect so we are done with the top lid for now we're gonna move on to some face primed with nyx angel veil in my t-zone and then around the perimeters of my face and you'll see that i have a glow going that would be my max strobe cream the Too faced of born this way foundation oh Oh my gosh, I love this foundation. I am in the color Golden, and this was my summer color, so it's maybe a little dark, but we're gonna make it work. So I use like one and a half pumps, and I kind of just take my finger and place it all over the face. Now this is a medium to full coverage foundation. It has hyaluronic acid, coconut water to help replenish the skin. Such a beautiful foundation. And the thing that I love about this foundation is that not only does it give you the coverage, but it stays looking like skin. Your skin looks flawless and it doesn't look like you have a ton of makeup on. And I'm not gonna bring my foundation all the way under the eyes. Reason being is because I get a little bit creasy under there. So the way to keep from creasing is to not put as much product under the eye. The neck a little bit, just to kind of further blend. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with some concealer under the eyes. Use two drugstore concealers. I'm gonna be using two colors. I'm gonna be using light pale and light medium. So first I'm gonna go in with the light medium and I'm kind of just gonna put this everywhere that we want to highlight. So under the eyes and center of the forehead. I'm gonna bring a little bit down the center of the nose, Cupid's bow, chin. I'm 
Now I'm gonna blend that out. Oh, and I don't know if I told you guys, but I am using the Real Technique sponge. Snatch that nose real quick. Now we're gonna go in with a little bit of the lighter color, which is the light pale. And I'm gonna just take that more under my eyes because that's where I want the most lightness. And I actually don't wanna put too much of this because <gasps> Lord knows I don't wanna look like no ghost. So now that I'm pretty happy with that, we're gonna set the entire face and start to bronze this up. So I'm gonna use my MAC Prep and Prime Powder. Transparent is the color. This is one of my Bobbi Brown brushes that I got a long time ago. Tap away that concealer. Now I'm pressing the powder in, not swiping. Reason being is because when you swipe, especially if the product is still wet under, it'll actually move your coverage and we don't wanna do that. So we wanna keep it as much coverage as possible. Dust this all over the face. And I'm still keeping that press and motion going. Just let that sit for a little bit and wipe off the excess powder all over the face. Aren't they beautiful, guys? Look at that ombre. <laughs> I got money. <laughs> we gonna bronze this baby up. So I'm gonna use another one of my Sonia Kashuk brushes. This is a big fluffy one from one of the um, holiday collections. This is Two Faces Bronzer. It's in the color Sun Bunny. It's a, if you can see that, it's divided into two. It has a bit of a glow to it, which I love. I'm all about that glow. So I literally just mix the two together. You see I'm not going a very precise kind of way. I'm not going in and carving out the cheek with this. This is more just to give warmth, like an overall warmth and a glow. I'll go in with another Too Faced bronzer to give me more of that contoured look. And can you see the glow? It looks so beautiful. Me, personally, I like to bring my bronzers under the cheekbone and around the forehead because my forehead is big. So I want to minimize it as much as possible and make it look poteet, you know? So, hashtag poteet. So like, I like to bring it down my neck and my chest so that I look like J-Lo and people will ask me if I'm related to her and I'd be like, no, I'm not. And this one is in the color Chocolate Soleil. This one is actually, in my opinion, this is more of a gray base bronzer. So I love this to kind of contour with. So I like to start off at the top of the ear. So top of the ear to the mouth. That's normally where you want to keep the color. And I try to tell all my clients that want to learn how to contour, you want to keep the color here going up. Never bring it down. It's going to give you a 5 o'clock shadow. If you bring it up, it kind of pulls everything back up. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start here. And I'm kind of going to push, put my brush on an angle. And kind of follow my cheek. And I kind of smile like this just to see exactly where I want to put that. And as I get closer to the mouth, I kind of go in smaller smaller sections. And then when I go to the back, I'm bigger sections just because that makes everything look a little bit more lifted as well. So if you're a starter learning how to contour, just do this motion the entire time. Even me out on the other side. With any bronzer you're doing, you wanna bring it where you brought that other bronzer. So if you're doing this one to kind of carve it out, you wanna bring it up onto the forehead into where your hairline is receding. It'll make everything come together. So now we're gonna finish off the eye. I'm gonna go in with a Lorac Front of the Line Pro Pencil, which is their newer eyeliner pencils, and this is in black. That's what it looks like. These are really good. They're super creamy, and I've used them before, and they haven't transferred on me. So if it's not gonna transfer and it's gonna stay where I want it, I'm all about that. And there you are. And that's kind of going to help balance out the look once I add the lashes because if not, it'll look extremely top heavy and you don't want it to look top heavy. Because I'm going to apply my lashes off camera and then we'll come back. Okay, so I did um, my lashes off camera and I did one eye. I picked up Morocco and I'm going to go from the corner of the eye about three fourths the way in. Now I'm going to use the um, Sedona Lace 904, which is a like pencil brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to go in 
with the fudge color. I'm going to go right under the lashes, like directly under the lashes. And now I'm going to take that same blending brush and blend that out. I have no additional product on it. Perfect. So I'm going to take a little bit of that pink champagne on another pencil brush. I'm actually going to spray that pencil brush with a little bit of that fix. I'm just going to take that in the inner tear ducts. And I'm going to take it right in that section where we didn't hit it with this darker color under the eyes. Um, this is pink buttercream from Laura Geller. It's like a little mini one. And we're going to use an e.l.f. small stippling brush. And I pick a little bit of that up. You can see very little is on there. The reason being is because this is so pigmented. So I'm going to smile and I'm going to start from the apples of my cheek and work that color out. Um, any of her blushes would really work for this look because a lot of her blushes are pink base. So now that I did way too fucking much blush, we're going to go in with that stippling brush that we used earlier and kind of go in a circle and blend, blend, blend. I don't like my blush to be too intense because what will happen is it'll take over the look and then we look like a little um, baby doll. The highlights. My all-time favorite highlight is Bobo Glow from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to use my crown brush, like dome brush, but it's smaller so I actually use it for my highlight. So I'm going to go into that so you guys can see how much of a glow that gives you. Can you see the glow? Now we're gonna go for a super intense glow. So I'm gonna put a little bit over the high points of the brow. A little bit on the cupid's bow. For the lip, I'm going to use the Kat Von D uh, Liquid Lipstick and Bow and Arrow. Now with liquid um, lipsticks that dry matte like this, I don't even really use the liner until after it dries and I kind of use the liner to give a little bit of dimension. So we're going to let that dry. Um, while that dries, I'm going to use the NYX um, lip pencil and coffee to kind of line the lips and give it some more dimension. I'm actually going to pop a gloss on top of it, but you could always leave it matte like this if you wanted to. I am using the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Madeline. Put a little bit of that mascara. Now, I use this mascara to kind of bring my lashes and my, my real lashes and my false lashes together. And I used it on the bottom of this one, so we're going to do it on this one. I'm actually going to do it off camera, but this is the Calvin Klein Mascara. It's the CK1 Mascara in the color 810 soft black if you look at the brush it is a very like regular brush but if you turn this it turns into a volumizing brush so it's like two mascaras in one and the formula does not move on me so i like it i'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom lashes and Spray myself with Fix Plus and we'll be done. So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more of these beautiful looks done by me. Remember, when someone tells you you can't do something, you do it. And you do it full out, girl. Because life is your runway. And bitch, you better work. Better than a more, never been the floor. Pretty kitty, manicure the claws, silly, never been a draw. When the purr, Betty, when the poor, cause a stir.